by yet and um, I'd like to start by saying that um, doing this, what I'm doing is something I've always wanted to do. It's one of my life's ambitions due to my love for steam trains to stay in something which has, has been involved with steam trains. So that's why, partly why I'm here in Whitwell this weekend and in part of the old railway station and next to me as it were is the old platform and you can see across to the other platform and obviously um, the net obviously in one direction would have been the, in one direction the train would have gone on to God's Hill and then in the other direction it would have gone on to St Lawrence and Ventnor West which is more or less where I've come from. Well, the Ventnor bit is where I've come from. And um, I'm doing this for practical as well as personal reasons because, um, as I've just mentioned, my love of the history of the railway and my granddad used to go out filming the trains from Ride, Ride to Shankly. And the other bit of me doing this is for practical reasons because uh, I, I wanted to do something closer to a house so I've got some idea so that I know that I can definitely cope when, when, when the inevitable situation comes in the future when I, I have to like live on my own but I prefer to do it when I don't have to do it so I just think, oh, okay, then I've got experience to draw on, should I need it. And, uh, yeah, so that's that's the other reason why, you know, because, and, and then the third thing, although it's less important, is that I do like to, every so often, have, you know, a bit of time on my own, you know, just to chill and get, get away from things and, Uh, also have a bit of independence, you know, and, and things like that. I mean, this is the first time in probably three years that I've actually um, been in a self-catering kind of thing. And um, the last similar thing was Whitecliffe Bay, but um, this is more of a house than a chalet, so... So this is closer to what I, I, I will be, this is closer to what it might be like if I get my own place, sort of thing. And uh, I've been blessed with good weather today, so I've been able to get out there and take some nice photos. And, and there's, there's some stunning views. In, in almost every way you look and they've got the station name board outside and where I actually am as I said is on the on the old platform because there's three cottages here um, the one for just a bit up from me is the um, is the other cot is Primrose Cottage and then the balcony view I think it's called, is the where it's just across the way, so it's sort of a closely knit community, but you know at the same time you got you got a bit of pri you got privacy as well and things like that. Obviously, if I do see other people um, in the nearby cottage, you know, I make the effort to like talk to them and things like that. But I so far, I haven't seen anybody today. But um, if I do, then, you know, just be friendly and things like that. And you can see where the old tracks would have been uh, because the, uh, even though it's been grassed over, you can, it still looks like you know, a gap, you know, where the right trains would have been and all dotted in the cottage stairs like train relics and things like that. And uh, so, you know, it's... it's um, I've, I've no doubt that I'm going to enjoy it and I'm going to make the most of it and, um, and I'm doing it um, for the reasons I've, I've just said. It was important to me that I am prepared for things to come in the future.
uh, I didn't want to um, be in the situation where um, I'm trying to, um, you know, chuck in at the deep end, as it were, when you well, you have to do something and you're not prepared for it. Well, oh, it's not going to be like that because I'm thinking, well, I can say after this experience, I can say I've done this, I am prepared for the future.